All righty. Good day to all you glorious Rathscallion resonators. You absolute legends, you. The name's Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more Weathered Ways. And wherever you're at, hopefully you're having a tremendously great, exceptional day. Seriously. Um, <laughs> so today's discussion, today's topic, you could say, um, I want to talk about a certain character. You already seen the thumbnail. You already read the title of this video, and you're probably scratching your head and being like, what the hell? There is a certain character that's in this game that I truly want to be not just an NPC, but I want it to be a playable character, and I want to talk about it. So if you're willing to join me on this adventure for this stupid topic that has nothing really to do with weather and waves, in all honesty, it, well, it does, but it doesn't, you know, for future purposes, then take a seat at the bar, grab a drink, kick your feet up, and let's dive right into it. There is a man that is named Jan. And there is something about Jan that really, really intrigues me. I've talked about this a long time ago with friends and everything that I want this SOB, this son of a bitch, to be a main character in this game. Because just look at him. Like, we're just going to see if I can zoom in a little bit. Like, Kind of like this in a sense. There we go. We're going to hide ourselves behind him. Looking at Jan. And taking a look at just, just the way his demeanor is. The way he poses. The way he just stands like that. First and foremost, it reminds me a little bit of older Noctis from the Final Fantasy. Uh, what? Final Fantasy 14 or whatever. I mean, 14, 15. And I'm just going to say like... You know, the character itself, it gives me Guts vibes. It gives me older Noctis vibes. It gives me vibes of a brutally jacked man that would have a giant fucking sword and pretty much go onto a battlefield and fucking hit shit until it dies. This man gives me fucking Metal Gear Solid, fucking Solid Snake Big Boss vibes to where it's a man that is seen a lot of shit he's seen a lot of bloodshed he's seen a lot of death and just the embodiment of this character and how much more mature older not like the the, the beautiful boys of weathering waves not you know your clean cut you know ripped characters your calcheros your gns your yows we're talking about an actual a broski we're talking about pure fucking bravado comes from this character i sense an aura of true domination from this guy to where i could see him not with a blunt sword, not just slicing enemies like the discords in half, I could see this man breaking their bones with the sword over and over until the blade cuts in half. And he is, you know, angry, raged, a holic. I could see a tire kit. I don't see him as a gunslinger. I don't see him as a short sword uh, character. I see this man straight up as a giant sword, having a dragon slayer on his back and bashing the shit out of stuff. And I want that. I want this character. You know, I want that burly, that muscular bravado i want that leo white fang from guilty gear in this game i want my soul bad guy and that's what this character his entire aura showcases to me that's what i feel from this character i feel like we have a man that has seen a lot of shit and would be an amazing addition 
You know, it's not just like any other typical NPC that's in the game. It's not like Uncle Ben. It's not like any of the guys over here, you know, the generic looking ones. Even Yao, I would say, kind of looks a little bit generic when you compare him to other soldier type characters and scientists and such. This one is distinct. The facial hair, the way he, he holds himself, I would really hope that Kuro Games will turn this NPC into an actual character for Weather and Waves that we will be able to play. I want him as a playable character. And that's what I'm gonna ask you guys in the comments section below, you know. Hey, what do you think about Yon? You think that this would be a character that if they say, hey, look, here's a new five-star character, Yon. Would you pull for it? Because I swear, you put him as a main character on here, I probably would summon six him. Especially if it's the way I'm telling you that it's a, going to be a giant sword character, great sword character, it's summon. It's summon six. Uh, no ifs, ands, buts about it. I will wail. I will wail on the character just because that's how I like him. I, I think he's really fucking cool. And I, that's what I want to get from you guys. Do you think Jan's really cool? Do you think that he would be a broad, you know, a broadsword, great sword type character? I think that even then, you know, with him, I think he could pull off, you know, electro element. I think he could pull off, you know, fusion element, fire element, or you, really, that's what I think. I think it would be either electro fusion that he would actually pull off the best, in my personal opinion. So tell me, what do you think? What do you think his element type would be if he would be a character? What type of weapon would he use? Would you summon for all that good stuff let me know down in the comment section below and if you like the video hit that like that like button hit that subscribe button on there and spank that goddamn bell notification icon too if you want to you know keep up to date on the videos that we do post on this channel and at the same point in time you know if you got criticisms about my videos and everything feel free to put them in the comments and dislike the video it all helps out at the end of the day share the video out with people and all that good stuff apparently i have to say that because youtube wants me to and yeah otherwise than that i'll let you guys be you have a great one i'll catch you you know on the next video so keep it classy keep it jazzy keep it real and i'll see you on the flip side peace